Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Muhammad Kamari, science teacher. Welcome back in a new science session and a new lesson. Today, we will start with chapter six, lesson two, how are rocks classified? What we're gonna learn today, we learn that we will know this, the three categories of rocks and how they are formed. Classifying rocks. Rocks guys can be found in different sizes. It can be large, like boulders, can be small, like single grain of sand, and can be too small, like bits of rocks that make up salt and clay. So here, a huge boulder, it's a rock, and a single piece of sand, single grain of sand, it's also a rock. Rocks formation. The rocks can be formed in millions of years and also can form in a few minutes or days. We will learn today about the three types of rocks or three categories of rocks. First one, igneous rocks. The second one, sedimentary rocks. The third one, metamorphic rocks. And the scientists classify those rocks based on what, based on how they are formed. Let's get into the topic today and talk about how each single one is formed. First of all, we have a question here. Use these two facts from the text above to draw a conclusion. Huge boulders are rocks, and even bits of rocks make up salt and clay. It can be too small to see without a microscope. We understand what? That rocks can be different size and different shape. Three types of rocks once again. Sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks. The first one, igneous rocks formation. How do you think the igneous rocks form? Take a closer look for those volcanoes. What is coming out from the volcano here? What is the thing here that like forever? Actually, it's called magma. Magma are molten rocks. It's simply magma, which is molten rocks. The molten rocks, when it come out from the volcano and touches the air or the water, it will change into solid, it will solidify. So simply, igneous rock or what are formed from molten rocks, which called magma. What is magma? Magma reaches the surface when magma. Magma, it's just molten rocks. And when the magma reaches the surface, it's called lava. It's called lava. Igneous rocks could be formed above or below Earth's surface. And if it's formed above Earth's surface, it's called extrusive igneous rocks. And if it's formed below Earth's surface, it's called intrusive igneous rocks. When lava cools, it forms igneous rocks. There are two ways of cooling, wet cooling of lava and slow cooling of lava. If the lava cools quickly, a few minutes or days, the mineral crystals will not form at all and maybe form in a small size. Examples like pumice, which cools quickly by air, salt, which cools quickly under the ocean. And if the lava cools and hardens slowly, more than a million years, lava will have a time to make its crystals. And the crystals will be large. The longer it takes magma to cool, the larger mineral crystal can get. Examples for the slow cooling of magma or slow cooling of lava, granite, gabbro, and pegmatite. So simply, the summary of this part, you have to understand first that igneous rocks are rocks formed from molten rocks, which called magma. If the, if the magma reaches the surface of the earth, it's called lava. When lava cools quickly, it has small crystals. If the lava cools slowly, it will have large crystals. Question three. If you needed a microscope to see an igneous rocks crystal, what would that tell you about how rocks cooled? If you need to see, if you need a microscope to see something, of course it's too small. 
And if the crystals are too small, that means that the lava cool. Yes, quickly. Check the examples of rocks here, just like pumice, granite, obsidian, basalt, copper, and pegmatite. Pumice here have what have don't have time to make crystals, so it cooled quickly. Granite have large crystals, so it cooled slowly. Obsidian have no crystals at all, so that means it cooled very quickly, and so on. Sedimentary rocks. It is the second form of rocks we will talk about. Simply, the sedimentary rocks are the rocks that formed from layers of sediments when it settled on top of one another and hard. Sediments, we already talked about it before in the lesson of fossils. Sediments are made up of soil, shells, bits of rocks, dead plants, and animals. Sedimentary rocks formation. There are four main forces that make up the sedimentary rocks. Those four forces are what? Wind, water, ice, gravity. Wind, water, ice, gravity. Okay, these are the four forces that help to make up the sedimentary rocks. New layers of sediments press old layers and sticky clay, minerals, and natural chemicals hold the particles together. And we already know before that the deeper we dig, farther and back in time and even the old layers are deeper than the new layer so this one here it's an old this one it's old layer. this one you the new layers are above old layers are below Sedimentary rocks classification. Sedimentary rocks are classified into three groups according to the materials in the sediments. For example, sedimentary rocks are made of living things called limestone. Sedimentary rocks are made of pits of quartz, just like sandstone. Sediments are made up of tiny particles like shell and mudstone, like shell and mudstone. Now I'll provide you with pictures for each one. Limestone, which is made of skeletons and shells, and a stone made of pits of quartz sand. That's one, that's what I mean with sandstone, that's how it looks like. Third one, the mud stone formed from settled particles at the bottom of lakes and oceans. That's how the mud stone looks like. Thank you, question number five. And the third type of rock, which is metamorphic rocks. Basically, I want you to know that the metamorphic rocks, is any type of rock can be a metamorphic, which is sedimentary or igneous, or even metamorphic rock, it can change into metamorphic rock by what? By two main forces. Heat and pressure. Heat and pressure. So metamorphic rocks are rocks that form it by heat and pressure. So that's a change in one type of rock into another type of rock. So we can put a definition for it. Rocks that have a change as a result of heat and pressure are known as metamorphic rocks, known as metamorphic rocks. So metamorphic rocks form in several ways. Heat and pressure can cause minerals crystal to change and even chemicals in the rock form and new types of minerals. Metamorphic rocks examples. Some common types of metamorphic rock including what? Change graphite into diamond by heat and pressure. Graphite is what? You know, your pencil 
The part that you use to draw from your pencil, this black part, it's a graphite. When it's exposed to enough heat and pressure, and I'm talking here about 10,000 degrees Celsius in, in heat, and 10,000 atmospheric pressure, actually that's too hard to get, you will change a piece of graphite into a piece of diamond, okay? So if it gets exposed to enough heat and pressure, graphite will change into diamond. Graphite will change into diamond. So heat or pressure are the two main forces that are responsible to change a type of rock into metamorphic rock. Limestone, the sedimentary rock, when it's exposed to heat and pressure, it will become marble. If you went to a Haram before, that Mecca, the ground, you know, the white ground at the Haram, it's made, it's made of marble, white marble especially. Granite, which is an igneous rock, when it's exposed to enough heat and pressure, it will change into nice, change into nice. It's a metamorphic rock, and that's a change from igneous into metamorphic. And limestone to marble, it's a change from sedimentary into metamorphic. Page 251 of your science book. Take a look here for this one. Clay, it's, sorry, it's shale. Shale is a sedimentary rocks. When it exposes to enough heat and pressure, it will become slate. When slate exposed to enough heat and pressure, it will change to phyllite. When phyllite it changes to metamorphic, when exposed to heat and pressure, it will become schist, which is also a metamorphic rock. So first it changes from sedimentary to metamorphic, from metamorphic to metamorphic, and phyllite metamorphic into schist, which is also a metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks change it into metamorphic rocks, exactly as we explained it. Now let's talk about the rock cycle. Rock cycle from its name, it's a cycle. It's changing any type of rock into any type of rock when it got the right forces that make it a change. For example, igneous can become sedimentary and metamorphic. Metamorphic can be igneous or sedimentary. Sedimentary can be metamorphic or igneous. You know the forming of igneous rocks when the rocks when the molten rocks, which is magma cooled, it become igneous rock. Sedimentary rocks when sediments harden into layers, when layers of sediments harden, it will become sedimentary rock. Metamorphic rock, any type of rock when it exposed to heat and pressure, it will be metamorphic rock. The definition of the rock cycle is the recycling of old rock into a new one. So the recycling of old rock into a new one, that's called rock cycle. For example, if we have an igneous rock and it's broken down by one of the four factors, wind, water, ice, or gravity, and become sediments, but when the sediments harden, when the sediments harden, they will become sedimentary rock. And sedimentary rock, when it exposed to what? To heat and pressure, it will become metamorphic rock. When the metamorphic rock melt and become magma, and the magma reaches the surface, become lava and cools, it becomes igneous rock. And even igneous rock can be metamorphic by heat and pressure. 
So any type of frog can be any type of frog. When it gets the right factors that change it. Here's the rock cycle. Heat melts metamorphic rock or sedimentary rock into magma. T was an earth. When magma explodes onto Earth's surface, the lava cools quickly to form igneous rocks. Ash from volcanoes form layers of sediments. When magma cools slowly beneath Earth's surface and hardens into igneous rock, then igneous rocks under heat and pressure become metamorphic rock. Igneous and metamorphic rock wears over time and form layers of sediments. Layers of sediments harden into rock. The heat and pressure also change the sedimentary into metamorphic rock. Question number 11. Some space rocks wear away to form new layers of sediments. It will be sedimentary rock, right? Can magma ever directly become sedimentary rock? Why or why not? Actually, no. Magma becomes lava. Does the lava harden, or cools? Until it's in its hardened to become igneous rock first before becoming any other form of rocks. 13. What kind of rock is being formed in the Invasionet photo? If you check page 244, it's an igneous rock. And 14. What forces can form the particles that make up sedimentary rock? The four forces. Wind, water, ice, gravity. And now, guys, we got to the end of our lesson today. Hope you all understand it. Write all your questions in the comments below. Goodbye, and see you next session. Goodbye.